real estate market update for greater toronto area for end of may 2024 beginning of june 2024 detached homes in brampton the average sale price went down almost by thirty thousand dollars number of homes sold almost same as compared to the previous month semi-detached prices also went down in last month number of homes sold also went down semi-detached homes in brampton freehold townhomes prices went down homes sold also are lesser as compared to previous month condominium townhomes prices went down number of condominium townhomes that sold in brampton was up condo apartments home prices went down by give or take six thousand dollars and number of condo apartments sold also went down from 38 units to 25 units in brampton toronto detached home prices went up by seventeen thousand dollars number of homes sold in toronto detached homes also went up Semi-detached home prices also went up in Toronto. Number of homes sold also went up in Toronto. Freehold town home prices went up in Toronto. Number of homes sold are almost same. Condominium town homes prices went a tad bit down in Toronto. Number of condominium town homes sold were almost same. Condo prices, apartment prices went up in Toronto. Number of units sold were lesser as compared to the previous month. Mississauga detached home prices went down in the month of May. Number of homes sold were more. Semi-detached prices went down in Toronto. Semi-detached homes sold were lesser as compared to the previous month. Freehold town homes in Mississauga, the prices went down. Number of homes sold were almost same. Condominium townhouses, the prices went up in Mississauga. Condominium townhouses, number of units sold were lesser as compared to previous month. Apartment prices held their prices, same as last month. Same number of units sold. Oshawa on the east end, detached prices are almost same month to month. Number of homes sold were more. Semi-detached prices went up. Number of homes sold also went up. Freehold townhomes in Oshawa, the average prices went down. Number of homes sold also went down, just a tad bit. Condominium townhouses prices went down. Number of homes went up. Condominium apartments prices went up in Oshawa. Number of units sold were down. Hamilton detached homes prices are almost same for past three months, give or take. Number of homes sold are also same. Semi-detached home prices went down in Hamilton. Number of homes sold were more though. Freehold town home prices have been rising in past month in Hamilton. Number of homes sold were lower as compared to previous month. Condominium town houses prices went down in Hamilton. Number of homes sold have been pretty consistent in past three or four months. Hamilton number of homes condominium apartment average prices went up in hamilton number of homes sold condominium apartments are almost same as compared to previous month milton prices for detached home are almost same in past two or three months number of detached homes sold are same as previous month semi-detached prices came down in milton number of homes sold were more as compared to the previous month freehold townhomes the average prices have been going down in past couple of months in Milton. Number of homes sold are up as compared to the previous month. Condominium townhouses in Milton prices went down as compared to previous couple of months. Number of units sold, not that many condominium townhouses in Milton anyway. Condominium apartments uh, prices went up in Milton. Number of condominium apartments being sold in Milton has been going up month to month so in june this month we had a variable rate interest drop in july bank of canada is expected to further reduce the variable rates time will tell what happens bank of canada may reduce the rates again in september so based on interest rates drop affordability will increase 
so demand should go up prices should go up in the near future let's say next three to six months so if you're looking to buy perhaps you want to enter the market sooner than later and uh, if you are looking to sell and buy you'll be if you're selling and buying the same market conditions then it's okay if you're looking to sell only you may contemplate to hold on a bit a month or two or three perhaps you may get a better price in case you want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me you can uh, call us at 647-208-6364 or go to meetj.ca and book your free consultation uh, we can talk about your needs and wants and um, that's basically it so send us a text at 647-208-6364 or you can call us there at any time have a great day.